Hi there, in this video we're going to uh, run through creating a simple project in uh, in Codebook Out Level 2 or above. Um, so to start off you need to put the program in project mode. Uh, so in the top right hand corner you've got a, a label for click for project mode. If you click that, that puts it in project mode. Now we need to create a new project. So if you click on the create a new project button, give it a name. I'm just going to call it test project. Click OK and it will prompt you for your source details. Uh, we've got a TNS supply, single phase, uh, 230 volts, standard impedance 0.35, we're just going to up the maximum volt drop to 5% for a public supply. Click OK to that. Prompt us for our first distribution board, so this would be your main distribution board, so I'm going to call it DB1. Click OK, tells us we need to feed it with a sub-main cable, so we're going to OK that. Uh, so we'll do what it's asked, we'll feed it with a sub-main cable. To do that, you click on the board feeding DB1, which in this case is the supply. Uh, and we go to new circuit. Type of circuit submain. Uh, enter the load. We're going to use 60 amps in this case. Distance is 1 meters because we're just doing the meter tails. So we're going to select some singles. Calculate minimum size. The program comes up with 10, but we're going to put a 16 in there just to future proof it a little bit. Uh, correction factors. I uh, don't need to change anything there at the moment. Protective device. We're going to select a cartridge fuse. 1361, 60 amps, this is supplies fuse. Uh, evaluate the circuit, it's all passed, great. So we go back to project, give it a circuit number and description, just going to call it tails in this case, where it says feeds to from the drop down list, we select the only option which is DB1. Click save circuit, that saves the circuit into the grid, you can review the details of that there. And then if we click on DB1, look in the top right hand corner, we can see that the voltage and impedance have been carried downstream uh, with a slight loss for the tails there. Now in this case we've got another distribution board here, we've got uh, a separate DB in the garage, so we're going to add that. To do that you click Add DB, we're going to call it DB Garage. OK again. Now we've got to feed that from DB1, so we click on DB1 and then select New Circuit. Uh, single Phase again, Type of Circuit Submain. Load, uh, we're going to put in 40 amps there, we're just going to run some uh, lights and power out to it. Distance 8 meters. Cable Selection. Going to select a armed multi core. Direct in ground, we'll calculate minimum size on that, comes up with a 6 mil. Correction factors, again, all standards, so we won't play with any of those. Protective device, we're just going to run this off an MCB in the consumer unit. So we'll select a 40 amp type B for that. CPC, that'll be the cable sheath and armour because we're using an armour that's sufficient in a uh, uh, medium impedance environment. Evaluate that, all passed, great. Go to project, circuit number, description, we'll call that. Feed to garage. Uh, feed to two again, just check that that's the only option there. DB garage. Save circuit. Appears in the grid. Click on DB garage and we can see the, uh, the downstream volt drop and, uh, and impedance loss. Uh, and that's the basics for creating any project. Any further distribution boards, you just need to add onto the distribution board they're fed from and then uh, run a sub main cable from that DB to the DB that you're feeding. 